Meet the legendary Jimmy Jakes and his faithful dummy companion, Farmer Joe, an inseparable team for the past 25 years. Well, Farmer Joe, looks like we've come to the end of another barnyard follies. We'll come to the end, all right, you big fake. Big what? <laughs> looks like Farmer Joe's got just a little rambunctious. Well, bye-bye, kids. Hey, Charlie, hit the theme. Uh-oh. There seems to be trouble brewing in Puppet Paradise. I don't have to put up with this. You're getting out of control, Farmer Joe, you know that. You're like a hangnail in my brain. And I've just had it! You're out of the act, you're fired, so turn in your pitchfork! What are you doing with that pitchfork, Farmer Joe? I was just kidding around. We we can talk about this. No! No! Somebody help me! Please! Someone needs help, so they call me. That's what I do. I help people who are in trouble. They call me the searcher. Say, this is where the magic happens. A world of make-believe and illusion. Nothing is real in this Babylon by the sea. It's all movie magic. Oh, the rear entrance to Backdraft. I love Kurt Russell. Just a little peek. What could it hurt? Who is it? The Searcher. Come in. Jimmy Jakes. So, this is where the magic happens. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm not a magician. I'm, uh, I'm a ventriloquist. It's just a showbiz term. But you should know that, Jimmy Jakes. Now, let me just get this out of the way. I'm a really big fan of Jimmy Jakes and Farmer Joe's Barnyard Follies. <sighs> By the way, where is the little farmer? Out plowing? The little farmer is trying to kill me. Your dummy is trying to kill you. I see. Farmer Joe is, uh, well, he's, uh, he's a man. Of course he is. If he were a woman, you would have called him Farmer Josephine. You don't seem to get it. He's a, he's a little person. I found him 25 years ago in an orphanage. Farmer Joe is a dwarf. So, technically, you found him in a dwarfinage. Excuse me? Nothing. Now, exactly what do you want me to do? Find him! Talk to him, reason with him. If my public finds out about this, I am ruined. Take it easy, Jimmy Jakes. Your little secret is safe with me. You'll be back in your hot tub floating with those naked starlets in no time. What? Never mind. Now, where might I find this pesky puppet? I mean, little person. The soundstage. He's hiding someplace on the soundstage. He's waiting for me. He's plotting and he's scheming. You stay here and lock the door behind me. I'll be back. It's tough to watch one of your heroes suffer a nervous breakdown, but I know people, and what Jimmy Jakes needs is a major reality check. Lucy! Fred Neto call, he can't make it tonight, Papa Lucy! <laughs> Where was I? The plan is simple. Find the Clark Gable. Oh, Red. Red. What will become of me? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. 
Do you like me? Well, back to work. My plan is simple. Find the dummy, Farmer Joe. Bring him to Jimmy Jakes and make him accept the fact that his little dummy is really a dummy who loves him. But even more important than that, I've got to find the light switch. This is where the magic really happens. Oh, there's Chick, the fabulous chicken. And old Elsie May, how are you, Elsie? And Sally the pig, looking good. And Farmer Joe, the dummy that's trying to kill poor crazy Jimmy Jakes. Yeah, right. Hello, Farmer Joe, I'm the searcher. This is quite an honor. Hi, Farmer Joe. Hi, Jimmy, how are you? I'm fine. Maybe we should sing now. How does he get the mouth to move? Maybe he puts his hand up here. Ah. You are alive. You bet I'm alive. And I don't care who Jimmy Jenks hires to protect him. He's a dead man. Take it easy, little fella. <laughs> a lot bigger than you. I don't want to hurt you. Now just drop that hoe and we'll talk it over. I'm through talking. Ow. This sandbag on him. That should take some of the sting out of that little bumblebee. This is almost too easy. Whoa! Freeze and assume the position. Make me, you big jerk. Whoa! Those hay balers really do the job, don't they? Meet me on the barnyard set now. Yes! Searcher! Searcher! Where are you, my friend? Woo! There's your searcher. Farmer Joe! As you can see, he's not quite himself. He has a bad case of hay fever. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Before you do anything crazy, wait a minute! We can work things out, I know we can! No, we can't. You're a cheat. I give you 25 years, and what have I got to show for it? A studio apartment in Burbank? You've got that big house in Bel Air. I'll give you the caddy. I don't want the key to your stinking lousy Cadillac. It's too late for that. You've been cheating me for 25 years. I trusted you! I give you the best years of my life! Now, you're gonna die! Let me go! Let me go! No! Listen to me, Farmer Joe. You don't want to do this. I've heard everything and you have been taken advantage of. Who are you working for, anyway? I work on the side of right, and I believe you're wrong. That's telling him. Cheap bum wouldn't even give me a lousy $10 raise. He'd rather die. This isn't about money. It's more than that. You want your dignity. That's right. Dignity. I'm a real person, just like him. Then you should go on the air tonight and tell the whole world that you're a real live person and not just a dummy. Are you crazy? That would ruin the act forever! He's right. We'd have to give up show business and everything. I can type. He can't do anything. What do you want to do, Farmer Joe? I come to think of it, a few extra bucks and a new house would be fine. I couldn't break the house of all those children. You mean you want to let the dream continue? It's up to him. What do you say, Jimmy Jakes? 
Well, there's a nice house right next door to me up in Bel Air that's for sale. Now that's the Jimmy Jakes I've always believed in. Now, Farmer Joe, carefully release the sickle. This truly is where the magic ends. Did we just hit something? Must have been a speed bump. Eh? Say ah. Say ah. <laughs>